Hello everyone and welcome back to Shorecode and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a login program in Python. Now it doesn't matter what skill level you are, if you're a beginner, if you're advanced, I'll be explaining absolutely everything you need to know. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, you just want to create a new Python file. I've just called mine tutorial.py. For our login program, we're going to want to get some user input. We want to get the user input, so we get a username. We also get a password from them. And then we compare that username and that password and then see if it's been typed in correctly. First off, what we're going to want to do is just to get some user input for the username and for the password. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function and it's called login. So we type in define login and then two open brackets, close brackets, and then a colon. And then underneath that, what we're going to want to do, we want to create a variable and we're going to call it ask underscore username. We're going to set it to an input and it's going to be username. And just in front of this input, we want to type in str and that'll make it so that the input is a string. So it's a word, basically. A string is a word in Python. And then we're going to want to do this again, but this time it's going to be ask underscore password. We're going to set this equal to another input and it's going to be password. And then we want to run this function. So to do that, we just type in login and then open close brackets. Now we save it and we run the program. So in Visual Studio Code, you just hit F5. And then down here, you can see we get some input where it says username. Uh, and here we can just type in anything. So imagine my username was Caleb. So we type in Caleb and my password could just be password123. As you can see, it doesn't actually do anything at the moment. All we're doing is we're getting some input as a username and we're getting the password input as well. Now, if you are finding this tutorial helpful, a like would be appreciated. Now, before we do anything else, we're actually going to need to have some usernames and some passwords that are saved to compare it to. And, and for this, we're going to be using a separate text file. And here you can see I've got one. It's just called logins.txt and We've got a list of usernames, so here's a username and here's a password. And we've got another username and another password and another username and another password. You'll just want to create your own uh, text file called logins.txt and you'll want to create some password, uh, some usernames and some passwords and make sure they're separated by a comma. Uh, I'll make this a bit bigger so you can see. So we've got a username, comma, password. So that's one user. And then on the next line, we have a username, comma, password. And then on the next line, username, comma, password. And this is what we're going to be checking to see if they've inputted a correct username and password. And make sure you've got this logins.txt file in the, uh, in the same directory as your Python file. I've just got mine on the desktop. So I've got logins.txt and tutorial.py. What we want to do is we want to open this text file in Python. Now to do that, I'm going to create another function just at the top of a file and we're going to call it define uh, read underscore logins. And then we put in a colon and then underneath that, we want to type with open and then logins.txt and then comma and then in, bra in, um, in speech marks R and then type as F. I'm just going to type this out first and then I'll explain what it does. So then we type in contents equals F dot read lines. And then what we'll do is we just print out contents. Now, if we change this down here to um, read underscore logins, so we're going to be running this function up here. So if we hit F5 to run it, we can see we get a list and it's the exact same contents as your text file. So you can see all of this matches with our print down here. So what are we actually doing up here with this with open? So basically what we're doing is we're opening this login text file and we're setting it to read mode so we can read from the file. And then we're doing as f, so f is now our file that has been read into Python. And then what we're doing here is we're doing f.read lines. Now essentially what f.read lines does is it just literally goes through the text file and reads the lines. And then we're saving that into a contents variable and then we're just printing it out. So once we've read in our usernames and passwords, we're going to want to split them up and format them so, so that they can be compared. 
Now I'm just going to write some code. I'll write it out first and then I'll explain what it does. So what we want to do is we want to do, we want to create a list and call it new underscore contents. And we'll set it to a list. And then for line in contents, fields equals line dot split and then a comma. And then fields one equals fields one dot r strip. And then new contents dot append fields. And then at the end, we just want to return u underscore contents. In fact, what we'll do is we'll type out print, print new contents instead. So if I just paste that in there. So what we're doing here is we've opened our file. We've, we've read the lines into the contents variable, and then we're creating a separate list called new contents. And then we're using a for loop for line in contents. So down here, we've got a list and each item in the list is a username and a password. So we're just going through each individual username and password in that list. And then what we're doing is we're creating a variable called fields and we're doing line dot split and then a comma. So what we're doing, if you look down here is if I bring it up here, what we're doing is we're breaking each, each line up by the comma. So we're separating a username from a password using by splitting it at that comma. But then what you'll notice is this fields one equals fields one dot R strip. Now what R strip does is it removes the last character of a string. Now you may not notice it, but down here you can see at the end of every item, we've got a backslash N. A backslash N is actually a new line character because we've got this new line here. We basically just want to get rid of that backslash N character. So that's what we use the dot r strip function for. And then we want to do new contents dot append fields. That'll add our new usernames and passwords to this new contents, new contents list. Now, if we run it, we can see we get a list. And then within that list, we've got individual lists and the usernames and the passwords have been split up individually because of this line dot split here, where we're splitting it by the comma. We've divided the usernames and passwords into their own individual items. Now, if you want to see more videos from me, then be sure to subscribe because I make loads and loads of really easy to follow programming tutorials in Python. And now we'll just change this back to return new contents. We want to do logins equals read underscore logins. And what this is going to do is it's going to run this function. And then when we return the new contents, we're essentially setting logins here equal to new contents. And just quickly here, we want to create a variable and we'll set it to logged in. And we want to set it to false because currently we're not logged in, but once we have logged in, we're going to set it to true. So what we do now is for line in logins. And then if line zero equals ask underscore username and logged in is false. So if we haven't logged in and our username in, that we typed in up here is equal to uh, the username in the file, then we want to check if a password is also correct. So to do that, we do if line one equals ask underscore password, then we can do logged in equals true. So line zero here, this, this, word, uh, this line and then bracket zero is equal to the username and the line brackets one is equal to the password. Because if you look down here, this is zero and this is one, this is zero, this is one, this is zero, this is one. So we're just going through this list of usernames and passwords and then checking if the, and we're checking if um, the username is correct and if the password is also correct. And then what we do is if logged in equals true. So if we have logged in, then we want to do print logged in successfully And then if we haven't logged in, so else, then we can print username slash password is incorrect. And then we can run this login function again so we can try and input a username and password again. And then down here, what we can do is we can create a function called main and we can just print welcome. So this, this main function is where once you've had your, once you've logged in, that's where your actual program would go. So logged in successfully, and then we call the main function. 
And then down here, we just run login. So if we run this now, we've finished our program. So we need to type in a username. Now, if we just bring up our username and passwords here and we type in down here, if I make this always on top, username, if I type in Caleb and the password is password123, you can see logged in successfully and welcome. Now, if I run it again and I type in my username Caleb and I type in an incorrect password, so um, just password 321 instead of 123, then we'll get username slash password in is incorrect. Now we can always try to log in as somebody else, so another user, and then wordpass321, and then we'll get logged in successfully. So there we go, we've completed our program. So that's pretty much it for our login program. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. I will reply to you, and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Now if you'd like to see how to make a game in Python, then you can click on this video here. If you want to learn how to do 3D rendering in Python so you can draw cubes, all that cool stuff, then you can click on this video here. But other than that, that's it from me. Thanks for watching and goodbye.